I really like being alone. I really do. Hey, Emmys, I'm Jasmine Emerald. Welcome or welcome back. Today, I'm going to go on a rant. And this is probably going to be a series that I do, to be honest because I am an introvert, okay? I like to keep to myself, I like staying at home, you know, partaking in my different hobbies. Very rarely I do like to go out and be around people, but again, it doesn't happen a lot because it requires a lot of effort and a lot of energy to hang out with people. That's just the way it is, you know what I mean? And I wanted to talk about this because I feel like potentially other introverts could relate to this, okay? Someone asked me to hang out the same day. Now, this is a situation that has happened to me a multiple of times within someone not really knowing me that well, okay? Now, I don't really like when people ask me to hang out same day for multiple reasons. So I have to prepare before I go out and be with anybody. I have to have dedicated time to get myself in a good headspace where I can be around somebody. Now, when it comes to me preparing, this is a mental, emotional, physical, and potentially spiritual thing. I need to know in advance, firstly, because emotionally, I need to be ready to deal with someone else's emotions because I do feel like I also need to know what headspace the other person is in because being around people is very draining for me. You have a certain time frame. And then after a while, it's like my battery is just constantly going down. And once it gets to like 5%, I just have this face. And that's when people start asking me and if I'm okay. And I'm okay, I'm just tired, <laughs> you know, from being around people. So I mentally have to prepare because I have to really think about things like, okay, I'm going to be around someone. I need to hype myself up so that I can like have the energy to be around someone for an extended period of time. And you know, it's nothing against anybody that I hang out. It's just something that I personally have to do because again, I like keeping to myself and being by myself. So when I'm around other people, it's, like, it's one thing if I'm around one person, as long as they're not draining me emotionally, that's fine. But when I'm around multiple people, it's just a lot of different aspects. It's a lot of socializing. It's a lot of different personalities. It's a lot of different energy that you vibing off of. It's just a lot for me to take in. It's almost like too much data. You know what I mean? So when I'm around multiple people, I get way more drained way quicker. And I will say, I feel like this happens much quicker when I'm around people that I'm not completely comfortable with. So for example, when I'm around family, my siblings or something, I'm cool. You know, I could be around them for hours and I'm not exactly like tired or anything. Um, even some friends, we have a group of friends and when I'm around them, you know, I'm not as drained because I'm comfortable, but if I'm around people that I don't really know, or like I haven't really seen them multiple times, it's, it's too much coming at me. You know what I mean? I really don't, I don't know what it is, but it's just too, it's like overwhelming for me. The other thing is that I need to take a nap. The older I get, the more I appreciate taking naps. And I, I think I did a whole video about this, but I have to have time to myself, pretty much. It helps me with them being around other people. If, if no one's told you anything, and this is even for extroverts too, the older you get, the more you need to take naps. More naps. That is something you should add to your lifestyle, to your scheduling, uh, your way of life more naps. 
But I will say, when someone asks me to do something, like, real last minute, same day, you know, it also just depends on what we're doing, because if I'm in a more intimate setting with them, where it's just me and them, and we're, like, going out to lunch, it's not as big of a deal as, like, let's say they wanted to do something with a whole bunch of people, and we're gonna be out for, like, three plus hours, because that would just be, like, bro... Why do you want to do so much on one day, bro? Or why didn't we plan this in advance so I could mentally prep <laughs> so that I knew I was going to be around all these other people or so that I knew I was going to be around you, especially if it's a friend that's hella extroverted and kind of draining where they have like a lot of energy and they're like, eh, 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 eh. you don't want them to feel, I know for me, When it comes to people who are extroverted, I don't want them to feel out of place. But at the same time, if it's too much for me and I'm drained, I'm going to react like blah. (laughs) I don't even know how to explain it. It's like if I'm in a good mood and I've had my nap, I'm usually okay. But if someone is just constantly talking... And it's not really about anything positive. Because that's another thing that will affect me if I hang out with someone and it's not, like, on a positive note. Because if something is more positive and if I'm having a good time, it does give me an energy boost. But if it's not, it's like I get drained even quicker because I'm, like, it's too much negative vibes. I don't know. I just prefer to have a heads up or some sort of notice where I can get ready for whatever is going to happen and I like knowing what's going to be happening like what are we doing I don't like it's very rare where I oh so what do you want to do today let's do this or hmm let's look up what's going on like it's very rare I think my boyfriend is probably the only person that I'm really okay with doing that anybody else I'm kind of I don't know if I really want to be out here that long. I want to go home and watch my shows and eat my snacks. Or, you know, I want to do something, one of my hobbies. And, you know, somebody might want to be out late. That's another thing, too. Like, is it during the day or is it at night? Or is it, like, in the afternoon? Because that'll affect me, too. For example, if someone wants to go to brunch, I'm literally down for brunch. But if you tell me you want to go to dinner at, like, 9 o'clock, I'm like, bro, bro, for what? Like, why? (laughs) Unless I'm going dancing or something, and again, my significant other, he would have to be there. I don't really see myself going out that late, because I don't really like being out that late, bro. I just seem, I feel so old. (laughs) I'm saying it sounds so old, but I really don't like being out that late. Um, unless, like, I'm doing something. So, I don't know. It's just a lot to take in when it comes to dealing with other people. Like, some people just don't get it. Some people will be looking at you sideways, like, you don't ever want to do this, or you don't want to do that. Girl, you don't understand. You're not like me. We are not the same. You're extroverted. You like doing this, this, and that. I just, like, keep it to myself. (laughs) But, I don't know, I'm trying to get better about, I feel like over the course of these past couple years, I've done really well with socializing apart from the pandemic and stuff, but I still have those moments. Most of the people in my life understand I don't do last minute things, and for the most part, most people don't do last minute things either, but... There are moments where someone wants to do something last minute and I'm kind of just looking hella awkward because I don't want to be mean and I don't want to come off as being like rude or like I don't want to spend time with them. But at the same time, I like my solitude so much more. (laughs) Like I really do. I just really, I don't know. I just like being to myself so much. It is so nice. It's so nice to just be at home and to do what I want at home and to not have to worry about 
I obviously worry about my boyfriend's feelings because we live together, but I don't have to worry about entertaining someone or making sure that they're good. You know, I'm not overthinking. Hopefully I don't come off as like draining, drained or like tired because, you know, we hung out for this many hours and like, I know they still want to hang out, but I'm like, hella exhausted i want to go to sleep and it's so weird too because bro well we could go somewhere and you know we'll be around a lot of people and i will start getting sleepy in a mug while we out i'll i'll start my eyes will start like fluttering and stuff and you know people ask me they'll be like are you okay and i'm like yeah i'm just getting a little sleepy but then it's so crazy because we'll get in the car and I'll still be feeling kind of sleepy, but the closer we get to dr- getting home and, like, driving home, I start getting more energy. And then by the time we get home, I'm, like, hype. <laughs> because it's almost like I'm rebooting, like, my energy. And I don't know, like, it's just so weird. It's really weird to think about the fact that being alone gives me so much energy, but... Being around other people can just be too much. Overwhelming. So, I don't know. That was just something I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Maybe some of you guys are late. But that's just something that I've... That I was just thinking about. And... I'm pretty sure other people probably feel similarly. I haven't really talked to anybody about this apart from my significant other because I know he feels similarly sometimes when it's like a lot of people you don't really know them or just last minute stuff in general because you could have other plans, you know. You just might want to just be in the house and be alone, you know. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this topic below You know, how do you feel about this? Or are you an extrovert and you feel some type of way about it? Like, (laughs) I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I'll be continuing this introvert diaries or introvert rant vlog series. Because it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of situations I've been in where I've just been like, you don't understand the things that I'm, that the, you don't understand me. It's just that I am an introvert. This is why I might react to something this way or why I feel this way. It's not anything wrong with you. It's just, I like solitude too much. I, I really like being alone. I really do. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But stay blessed and be positive and I'll be back soon.